Hello, my name is Gabriela Ramirez and I'm a peer mentor here at the Center for Civic Engagement. The Center for Civic Engagement, or the CCE, is ready and excited to be assisting you with your service learning activities this semester. I am a senior and a criminal justice major here at WSU. Personally, my most impactful experience so far has been going on a STEAM night at one of the elementary schools. It was nice seeing all of the kids so excited to be working on different science projects we had set up for them. The peer mentors are here to assist you with any service learning or community engagement questions that you have. We can assist you with finding a project, a community partner, and submitting your impacts, also known as ours. Here on the screen, we have pictures of WSU par students participating in service activities. On the top left, we have a student harvesting food at the WSU Organic Farm. And below that, students are providing care and attention at a horse rescue in Idaho called Orphan Acres. So you might be asking yourself, what is service learning and why do I need it as a course requirement? Service learning is when students apply classroom knowledge in real world settings to enhance their understanding of class materials. We hope that through the events you will experience this semester, you will explore your passions and interests, gain a sense of belonging, a commitment to the community, and see the concepts that you're learning about in class in action. So there are three learning outcomes that the CCE hopes that you take away from your service learning activity. We know that by participating in service learning, you will gain personal, academic, and professional development benefits. So the first learning outcome is civic responsibility, which is gaining awareness of community issues. Next is self-awareness and efficacy. Explore and evaluate, exploring and evaluating your own character, values, and desires. And next, academic success, increasing interest, understanding, and application of course content. Service learning is different than volunteering. When you volunteer, you are donating your time to assist with the task. Rarely is there a connection to the material you're learning in class. When you participate in service learning, you are taking the knowledge that you are gaining in the classroom and seeing it in action in a real world setting. You are also actively supporting the community while working alongside community members to meet an existing need. You will also gain important experience working with members of the community you would not have otherwise met. So there are seven service learning requirements that we have at WSU. The first one is it, that it meets a community identified need. Next, it benefits an underserved population, requires a non-paid commitment of time and effort, does not support or incite violence, hatred, or discrimination, does not replace or compete with an existing campus service, does not actively promote a specific faith or solely serve members of a religious group or political organization, and last, it does not provide direct financial benefit to a for-profit organization. The CCE has three ways that students can participate in service learning. These three options are course projects, placement opportunities, and CCE-led projects where transportation is provided. One way that CCE supports service learning is through developing a course project with a teacher and a community partner. Faculty and all students in the class work closely with the community partner to meet a need of the partner. Students are able to learn course concepts through in-depth, hands-on experience. Service hours for course projects are reported by the instructor to the CCE at the end of the semester, so students are not required to self-report any impacts or hours on get posts. Our next service learning option are placement opportunities. A menu of placement opportunities can be found on your Give Pulse page. Students must read the description, register for the event, and initiate contact with the agency and provide their own transportation. Some service learning activities may require an application or an orientation, so register early so that you have enough time to complete the service. For placement opportunities, students will self-report their hours on Give Pulse and the community partner will approve or deny the submission. The CCE will provide a report to your teacher at the end of the semester stating how many projects and hours of service learning you participated in. And last, there are CCE-led projects. These are small group projects open to all WSU students where transportation is provided. There are specific days and times, seven days per week. A CCE project leader provides transportation and a reflection activity at the end of the service project. 
It is important to note that for CCE-led projects, there is a no-show policy. If you register for an event and do not show up twice, you will not be able to participate in a CCE-led project for the rest of the semester. However, you will be able to participate in placement opportunities. Do you have any questions? We can help. If you need assistance finding a project, navigating give posts, or submitting an impact slash hours, you can contact Jessica or anybody else at the CCE using the emails on the screen. It is important that students know that the CCE is powered by student activity fees, so we are always welcome and ready to answer all of your questions. Have a nice day.